Hi everyone, um, today I'm really excited because my door's gonna knock any second soon and I'm gonna have another mystery box of mantids from Mantis Mayhem and I can't wait. And another mantis as well and three other mantids that are coming for a friend of mine. Now we normally like bulk up and uh, order together just because it's cheaper delivery and everything so he's kindly let me um keep the mantids for the day and show you some of these i've not currently got i might have these come in my mystery box you never know but the mantids he's got i haven't got at the moment so it would be nice to show you those uh yeah and i'm gonna just introduce you to oh i thought that was the door it might be was that a van door i don't know it might be Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna... <laughs> right, okay. So, I think you're gonna be able to see it like this. Hang on. I need to calm down. Right. So, they come in a little box like this. Um, mine are always delivered through Royal Mail. And they always come next day. Well, I pay for next day anyway. But, um... Never had an issue with them coming in the post before, it's great. They're always really well packaged anyway, I'll show you all that. Um, they're marked up quite clearly that there's like live animals and everything in there. You know, you've got all your little stickers, they put their own stickers on in there and Royal Mail are really great around here anyway. They'll really look after the package, they'll get them here as early as they can. Um, yeah, he thinks I'm an absolute nutcase because the amount of parcels I have here with live animals on there. He always thinks they're spiders. They're not spiders. Like I used to have fish delivered like this as well and they were terrified handing over the box to me. So I also get my flies delivered like that and from Mantis Mayhem they have like the same type of um, information labels on there. So yeah, he, I don't know what he thinks goes on in this house. But yeah, anyway. Right, okay, so I'm gonna just open the box up now. Straight away, you've got one of their little cards. I'll pop all their details down below and everything. If you're going to get mantis and you're in the UK, these are fantastic to buy from, honestly. Yeah, that's just going to be my, my little invite. I'm not getting that out with my address on, you know why. Right, it's okay. So, these are some of the enclosures that um, you can also buy from them. So, I think they're 32 ounce tubs. Now, uh, my friend uh, in work has ordered these for his, because he's just ordered from Manted, and they also come. They're actually really good. I didn't expect them to be this big. I think I'm going to have to buy some. So they come with, like, a nice ventilated lid at the top, which is great. You, fruit flies, again, you're not going to have them all over your house. So he's ordered two of them, and I think I'm going to have to persuade him into putting another order in and ordering some of these for myself. Right, so they're going to be packaged, they always package really well. Oh my god, I can see what's in there, they're so cute. Right, okay, calm down now, calm down. I'm just going to remove some of this packaging. Oh my god. Packaging, done. They're always really tightly packaged as well, so they're not going anywhere. So I've got... These are all the little mantids. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I've ordered. There's see the fly? It's got they always come oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. They always come with a little meal in there, so that's great as well. I'm just gonna pop her I'm gonna pop it down my shoe. Right, these are yestins. That's one of mine. We'll look at that in a sec. Oh, we'll look at that one in a sec. Oh, that's Yestin's. Right, yeah, that's everything. Right, so Yestin's ordered some ghost mantids. So, they are proper cute. They're not as small as I thought they were going to be. So they come, the smaller ones, these are like L2, L3. They come in like these sort of containers. They've always got their species label as well, which I think is fab. That one's quite small. I'm not going to get that one out. See? But this one's a little bit bigger and oh it's stunning and they all come with little flies and they've got a little pack lunch for on their way yeah this is another ghost one 
It's going to again, look, right? I've paid, they're fab. I honestly, I love them. I paid um, for a £10 mystery box, so that's two, three man dids, right? And I bought the one that I wanted anyway. So I've got that one, and I'm supposed to have two or three. They've sent me them. And is that two to three? No, that's millions. I love them. Honestly, they're fab. Right, Ghost Mantis. Oh, I need to. I need to chill out. So this is stunning. I'll get some really nice close-ups of these now. Come on. Come on. Oh, look. He's gonna be well impressed with these. Oh, I'm gonna steal one off him. I think. I'll just be like, nah, they didn't. They only give one. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to order it again, won't we? Oh. Right, okay. It is sad how excited I get over bugs. So. Oh, he, d he ordered another one as well. That's, that's not mine. So they have chucked an extra one in for me, luck. He also ordered um, a peacock mantis. I haven't had one of these before either. It's quite a cute little thing. Again, another L2, L3. They're always super, super healthy little little ones as well. Come on. I wonder if you're going to be flighty. Are you going to be flighty? Yes, of course you are. He's got really cute eyes again, like my bud wing. I'll get some close-ups. Let's pop them back in. Ah, you're not coming back out. But be careful as well, not to trap their legs when you're popping their lids back on. I'm always really paranoid about that. Right, yes, Dean, they're yours. I'm going to try and not nick them. <sighs> They've sent me some absolutely beautiful ones again. Right, so they've sent me a Dominican leaf. So he's, again, another little one. He's quite big, considering. I think the last Dominican leaf I had wasn't as big. My, oh, she was stunning. Never know. Might be having a breeding pair here. Really beautiful eyes as well. So yeah, I have had this one up on my Instagram before. I haven't had any really nice shots of them yet, but um, this was the one I spent like four hours searching for one day after it jumped off my hand and it was actually behind my radiator, so I don't know how I ended up finding it, but I wasn't going to give up. So yeah, I've got a Dominican leaf. Is that Myomandus species? Myomandus species, I've never heard of that. Probably saying it wrong knowing me. And this one's just like a little stick. Oh, I think you're going to be fast. Oh, yeah, you are. That's okay. Come on in. What if I keep you on there? You might be able to see him better on there. I'm going to have to do some research on this one because I don't know a lot about these. I want to see what they look like as adults. They're dead cute again. Don't come out. A Nigerian flower. Okay. Oh, it looks a lot like my Malaysian flower. It's gorgeous. Oh, see, this is like Christmas. I'm going to have a house full of these. Again, I'll probably have to research this one again. I'm assuming it's going to be around about the same care needed as um, the Malaysian flower and the other flower type mantids. Look, he looks like a chicken sapper there, doesn't he? Okay, let's go back in. No, you're going to jump on my table. There we go. Let's not lose you, mate. You're too tiny for that. There we go. So I've got a Peruvian leaf mantis. I, I can't wait to get this out. Oh. It's like a deep velvety black colour. Oh my gosh, you are. It's beautiful. Look at it. I'm gonna get some nice close-ups of this one. My God, that is gorgeous. Okay, 
arms it, I've got like happy tears. It's, it's sad. So this one I've been wanting for so long. I didn't expect it to be this big. It's a wandering violin mantis. They send the healthiest looking little animals and they package them up so well and they've surprised me yet again. Okay, come on. I want to be so gentle with this one. There we go. Oh, you look a little bit like a spider. That's not good. I don't like spiders. No, 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 no. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. You are absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Again, I'll have to get some close-ups because I've got really shaky hands. I shouldn't have favourites, should I? The thing is, I've got favourites based on, like, personality and everything. Like, they do have personalities. I don't care what anyone says, but... Come on. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull you back in, because I need to get on with the video. Right. So, all I ordered, actually, from them was... My violin, man. is because I wanted that anyway. It's only a couple of quid as well. Like, I can't believe how cheap they sell these animals for. Because... The quality of them is excellent. So yeah, basically all I wanted was a violin mantis. But I had a few glasses of wine the other night and I thought, hmm, there's only a couple of quid for this mantis. I think I'll have a, another mystery box, why not? But I didn't want to go too wild, so I did I was a little bit sensible and I just bought the ten pound one. So like I said, two to three mantis you'll get then. And they sent me three plus another one as well. Honestly, they didn't need to do that. It's fab. It's, I think, you know, they're grateful that I'm going to be, like, putting them up on my Instagram and everything. And I do try and get as many people as I can to buy from them. But still, I feel awful because I promised this video for the last mystery box. And I had so much going on at home and work, especially with COVID and working in a micro lab. It, 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 things have been up, up in the air so much. And I just felt so awful that I hadn't hadn't done this video in time for them there was no need for him to do that again so thank you so much um and i'm you can tell proper chuffed with what you've sent and i know yes Tim will be as well so what i'm going to do now is with with the peruvian one then because it's only in one of these little small transport ones and it's quite large considering i'm going to upgrade this one to one of the like pint glasses and Let's have a look. Let's see what I've got. Okay. So, this is what I do every time. I've got a few of these and some coconut fibre. I usually use Fagna Moss, but because I was on a big maintenance on my snails yesterday and I made a lot of this up, I had quite a bit left over. So, I'm going to pop some of this in the bottom. A new bit. And it's nice and like wet, no, not wet, but you know, it's got a nice bit of humidity in there. So I'm just going to pop about that much in. Did I bring the snips? I don't know if I brought the snips, but that's okay. I'm going to pop some of this in for it and I'm going to go and hunt for a twig. Yeah, clean the twig up, hunt for a twig. And also use like lollipop sticks. I've got, saying that, I've got skewers. See, look, if you can use anything in the house, use it. I've got skewers, so if I just take the sharp bit off the edge, I could probably put that in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off some of these, pop them in. Oh, they're a bit too... It's okay, we'll just take a little bit, a little bit off them. I'm going to cut up some more underwear for um, the lids. For, like, that stuff. I think I've got one over there already cut up from my last one. Yeah, because I transferred one. And the Peruvian then can go in here. I always transfer the um, species stickers over just in case I forget. Especially with, like, um, the ones that are all green and stuff. You know, they look very similar until they become a lot older. To me, they do anyway. You know, I'm not an expert. So I'll keep all the stickers on them uh, so I know exactly what they are. They've also got, like, the Latin name, the scientific name underneath. I think you're going to go in there, this one. I'm going to have to double check on all of their requirements as well. Now see, see this one. See how tiny this one is. Yeah, that one's really tiny. So it might be that I'll 
either keep them in there until he has one more mould or I might transfer him once the violin's out of this one, um, transfer him into here and do the same with the substrate and everything. So it, it could be that I do that. I, I literally just judge it by their size. Um, you're going to always want to make sure as a minimum that the enclosure is like twice their body length like across and then three times downwards uh, so that they can have a nice clean mould and everything then. Same with this one. This one's still quite small. Which one was this one? The Myomantis species. This one's still quite small. But he's quite long. He's thin, but he's quite long. So yeah, he's not going to be staying in there. He's going to have to go into one of these cups again, I think. The dead leaf. Is it a dead? No, not dead leaf. Sorry, Dominican leaf. My other Dominican leaf is in one of these. And it's doing quite well in there. It's around about the same size. So I'll probably end up keeping that one in one of them as well and transferring that over. Um, my violin is going to need one of these ones. I think I just said that. So yeah, I didn't order any light food this time because it wasn't long ago that um, myself and Yestin bought some uh, casters, some um, green bottle casters. And we kind of do like this um, fly share thing. I think anyone overheard our conversations, they think we were complete nutcases because we order um, casters from Mantis Mayhem and they only come in like a little oh, smaller than this, like half the size of this, but it's jam packed full of green bottle casters. And what we do is we will split that between us then. It's only a couple of quid and there's still millions in there. So what we'll do is we'll split them into smaller pots and we'll fridge them. Um, we've normally got like a fly culture going anyway. Once that's starting to dwindle, we will take out one of our little split up pots of casters, let them grow up over the course of like two days, something like that. Um, and then we've got another fly culture going again. And then what we'll do is one of us runs out or something, you know, we just give each other a text and we'll go and do a swap or something. So yeah, it's good having someone else in the area or a mate or anything that's into these as well so that you can like double up on your orders so you're splitting the delivery costs. Uh, so we do, we do that, it's really handy. I'm so glad that I managed to turn him to the dark side to be honest because now I've got someone else that I can like share the cost with. And um, like one month he might do all the fly cultures. Like last month he was really, really good and he's kind of getting a really good grips on this because I was useless. I, I'd end up like, growing up all the casters and then they'd all be dead at the same time, which is no good because then one day, you know, you look in your, in your culture and there's like hardly any flies left. So that's not good. So he, he, he's got a little bit more of a system going. We're both biomedical scientists. We should know how to do stuff like this. We're supposed to be quite smart, but I'm not. He is. He, um he manages to keep the culture going quite well and then he knows when to order and everything so this month is my month and i'm trying to keep on top of it he's doing it as well but yeah i, I can I, I hopefully it'll all go well and i'll manage to keep a nice culture going uh we'll also buy some like wax moth um larvae he was trying them but they were a bit big for some of the mantis he had so i'd have them and mine would eat some of them but only as a treat um he also bought a lot of mealworms his weren't taking them. Um, I think it's only my bud wing that's taken mealworms. So I'm just, again, just leaving them as a treat as well. I, we tend to feed um, just greens, to be honest, green bottles, because for the sizes we had, not now, um, greens would like be across the board, uh, an across the board feeder. Uh, he's got fruit flies up there at the moment, so he'll be giving me some of them today when I pop these up, and then I can feed like the smaller mantids and everything that I've had today. Yeah, find yourself another weirdo to order stuff with is is really handy i'm just going to transfer all these now and spend the rest of the afternoon sorting all of these out i will start editing this video and i'll try and get some like close-up shots and everything but just bear in mind i am a very poor person trying to do youtube videos so i've only got my phone and like a little clip on macro lens so yeah i just i'll just do the best with what i've got and hopefully You've enjoyed seeing a couple of these mantids that I've now got. So how many have I got now? I've got, I had eight. I got the violin and they've just sent me four. Hang on, I can do this. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I've got 13 now. Are you crazy? So yeah, thank you so much, Mantis Mayhem. Um, You've outdone yourselves again. And you're probably gonna have another order off me in the next few weeks to be honest i'm gonna have a house full of these uh, yeah so um head over to my instagram as well um there's gonna be a few live uh videos coming up soon um 
hopefully with one of my bestie friends on there, Debbie's Fish Tanks. Um, she's just ordered a mantis today. I've actually got her to buy one. Um, she's ordered a thistle mantis. Uh, so she's Scottish, that's why she wanted a thistle mantis. I think that's coming tomorrow. And she's got a spiny flower. One of them is coming today. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm well chuffed for that. And we're planning on doing a live soon. So yeah, those of you who already follow us on Instagram know that's probably going to be a good night in to watch. 